What's up, family? Welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a quick reading on the eve of October 5th, 2020. This weekly reading is from the 5th to the 11th of October. And this week um, is symbolic because it is the week that the Parsley Massacre took place in the Dominican Republic, um, where an estimated 15,000 Haitians were massacred or murdered at the orders of Trujillo, the then dictator. And so I'm just coming off of doing a panel discussion and it was beautiful and informative and hopeful. I think I leave that conversation feeling hopeful and just asking for the ancestors to guide us and bless us and protect us this week, right? I want this reading for the collective to really um, help us to focus on the thing, on one thing. May this week, I'm using the sacred symbols deck because I, I want us to begin to think about what symbolism we can be using to connect to the things that we want to attract. What symbolism? What totem can we carry? What rituals can we create? You know, what spiritual practices can we incorporate? And so, Ma I want to trabajar esta semana. Día me protejame. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What are our areas of focus? What do the ancestors want us to walk with? Where should we put our faith, our trust? What do we need? begin this week the message we're receiving is safe travel safe travel bon voyage peace out deuces later adios au revoir ciao pecao see you wouldn't want to be ya uh. later Peace out. Safe travels. You are on a new adventure. You are in a new journey. This is a new beginning. Safe travels. May you be blessed on your travel. You are moving. You are leaving a home. You are leaving a relationship. You are quitting a job. You are taking a trip, safe travels, safe travels. You're out and you are protected 
and you are guided. You are guided. I, I, I don't know how many times Spirit has to tell you that. You are guided and you are safe. Go. Take the leap. Trust. Safe travel. The message for this Monday and Tuesday, starting today, El Día de El Egua, El Que Abre y Cierre Camino, El Egua, Legba, Eshu. It's opening the doors. The path is open. Safe travels. You know what to do. And that's it. For Wednesday and Thursday, <clears throat> is the veiled card. Someone is not who they say they are. Someone is wearing a mask. Heed the warning. They are not what you think they are. You are being called to shut the fuck up. Stop telling your business. Stop oversharing. Be very protective of your dream, your vision. Wear your mask to protect yourself. But you know when to take it off when to allow yourself to be revealed and who and in what spaces you can come as you are. That's an important skill. The sad truth about the veiled card is that you think that someone has your back, but they don't. Someone could help you in this next stage and you wish that they would, but they're not. They're not gonna share their resources. They're not gonna give you a recommendation. They're just not. But that's okay, because that's not how you were gonna get there anyway. Keep doing the work, keep doing the work, keep moving forward because the right people are going to show up and see you. Allow this mask Allow this mask to be the mask where you actually see people for who they are. You're putting on a mask that lets you see. That's a, that's a gift, right? Like if you had a superpower, let your mask be that superpower. I see this person. They ain't, they ain't it. Get, get better at that. Discernment. Practice discernment. And as we close this week, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, our message is time, divine timing. You are headed in the right direction. Everything is align aligning perfectly. As you close this week, you can move with ease. Things are just, you find that things are just coming to you. You're just attracting things and you're meeting people and opportunities are coming and there's money in your bank account and you're feeling good. Something is right around the corner for you. Everything is happening in divine order and right on time. And family, that is your reading for this week. I'm sending you blessings. I'm sending you love. I'm wishing you peace.